Hi everyone, welcome back to my project box. Here we have the brand spanking new Sonoff Basic Gen 5 and it's frankly awesome. Now in essence it's exactly the same thing as the, uh, the Basic R4. Um, it's slightly smaller and it has these screw holes so you can screw it down which is quite useful. Uh, but the main difference is the one I really like. It's pretty awesome. It's got matter inside. So what that means is you no longer need EV Link if you don't want to. Um, you can run it cloud free, um, you can run it locally, and you can connect it to pretty much anything because Matter is compatible with pretty much everything. So I'm quite excited about the fact that this is actually Matter compatible. Uh, the rest of it's pretty similar. It's got magic switch. Um, so you put you connect this up to your light fixture and put it up by the ceiling. So the neutral is here. And you don't need any neutral by your light switch. So you essentially have a no neutral option. And uh, magic switch is really simple, just like its predecessor. You put a, a link across L1 and L2. That then allows you to permanently power the Sonoff Basic. Um, but at the same time, you can turn light on and off. But this stays powered all the time. All because of this little link that sits across L1 and L2. Magic switch is pretty awesome. And the other thing, just like its predecessor, the other thing you can do is you can um, have one way, two way or three way switches or four way or five way or as many as you like. You can just put them all in line. And of course I can demonstrate the uh, two way lighting with no neutrals behind the light switches. So we can turn it off on the one switch, turn it back on on this switch, turn it back on on the other switch. And of course we can use Google Home. Switch on the Gen 5. Got it. Turning Gen 5 on. And of course we can turn it manually off on the switch. So to open it you can use the little tool they provide which is essentially like a screwdriver tip that just goes into this little slot here. And it's just a matter of pushing it in and pushing it forward like that. That undoes, undoes the catch and then you just pull it apart like like so. And what you see is the lid is essentially the switch. It's got a little uh, it's got a little plastic pillar there that presses the little switch on the inside over there. So it's quite a clever mechanism. It turns it into a giant switch. So let's look at the typical diagram of a lighting circuit and see how we can wire it in. So first we insert a wire link across L1 and L2. Then we drop the Gen 5 in between the live and neutral feed that goes to our ceiling light. We'll add some extra parallel ceiling lights because in reality there's probably more than just one light in the room. And doing two-way or three-way lighting is really simple. There's only one strapper or traveler required. There's no intermediate switch required for the middle switch. And you can daisy chain this to multiple switches. It might actually be good if you have a staircase with multiple um, landings so that you can have a switch on every landing. There's certainly lots of flexibility here. In an older video about Magic Switch on the um, Basic R4, I also go into a lot of more detail of how it works and I also explain on how to use it with an intermediate switch if you already have one installed. I highly recommend that you watch that video it's got some interesting information. Now one thing that would be truly awesome if Sonoff incorporated this magic switch into one of their smart bulbs. I mean how nice would it be to have normal light switches that can operate a smart bulb directly because it has magic switch inside. So Sonoff if you're listening make a smart bulb that has the same magic switch inside so we can just use our standard light switches and they can trigger a smart bulb directly with magic switch that'll be awesome now for me personally this is the universal no neutral smart switch solution i've been waiting for for a long time no need for custom firmware hacks or a special circuit hack like these ones that i've did these ones that i made in the past um, to enable a matter enabled uh, smart switch to be truly no neutral we don't have to bother with zigbee um, so this can give us a proper matter enabled solution 
that's completely no neutral behind the light switch. So I'm really happy with this. I think it's a step in the right direction from Sonoff. Now I think we should look to try and installing this in a sort of real life situation. So let's start by installing the wire link behind the light switch. So there's our wire link between L1 and L2. Now it's important to note that not all light switches have L1 and L2. This one, the second contact hasn't been fitted. So this is just for one-way lighting. Um, so this can't do the two-way lighting or three-way lighting. But, um, but more often than none, most switches are this sort of two, three-way kind. This one's done. So now let's head up to the light fixture and uh, we'll install this bad boy up in the ceiling. Now let's connect this up behind the light. So um, we can either just cut this wire and put it in either side of our basic Gen 5. But we have this little junction box thingy so we're just going to remove that and um, put this in its place. And now we have the supply and the output. So we'll put the input supply to neutral in and live in. And of course this can just go down the hole. This should just poke neatly down the hole. Alternatively, you could take the whole light fixture out, depending on what your light fixture is like. And there we go. We've installed it. It's that simple. I think we should also give it a go on a pennant light, especially the UK type, which is a little bit different. So I'll, sh I'll demonstrate that for the people living in the UK. Now, I'd like to also show you, instead of um, a reset ceiling light, if you have a pennant light, that you can also just install it in line with that. So in the UK, you normally have these sort of screw-on caps, but you can use the European style, which is larger, and then um, our Gen 5 can fit straight in there. Alternatively, if the hole is big enough, you can make the hole bigger and you can pop this above the ceiling. But it's quite handy to be able to connect it just here, where the sort of junction box is. So you can either um, chop the, these wires in half, or take them out, put them in the in the one side and take a supply from there and put it into there. So we'll take these two out and um, we'll put it into this side and then these two wires we can put in in, the, in its place. So it goes in line with these two used to be. So we're essentially just putting this in line here. So there we go. It's now in line with the light. So let's put the cover back on. This should now all neatly fit in here. Time to test our magic switch on the pendant light. Works great. Now let's test it with the ceiling light. Our magic switch works a treat. We can control it locally, cloud-free, without Ewe Link over Matter on Google Home. Excellent. Now, so far, this is one of my favorite products Sonoff has ever made. And if you would like to try it, um, you can use my link in the description. And if you use my coupon code, you get a nice little discount as well. So give it a try. It really helps the channel out as well. So this is about it for this video. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe. And thanks for watching. And I hope to catch you on the next one. See you later.